Hello students, uh, in today's video we will try to understand the structure of renal carpacil, uh, process of glomerular filtration and we will also study determination of uh, glomerular filtration rate. Now as we all know primary function of kidney is uh, to form urine and uh, this urine is actually uh, produced by the nephrons. Now each kidney is made up of around 1 million nephrons and the first step in the formation of urine is the filtration of blood that is the glomerular filtration. Now glomerular filtration is a process by which kidneys filter the blood. Now renal carpacil is the filtration unit of nephron and renal carpacil is made up of glomerulus and Bowman's capsule. Uh, now let's uh, first understand the structure of renal carpacil. Now renal carpacil is composed of glomerulus and the Bowman's capsule. Now the diagram shows here the tuft of capillaries termed as the glomerulus. So uh, this glomerulus is made up of glomerular capillaries with endothelial cells. So these are red color endothelial cells and in between the endothelial cells are present fenestrations or pores for the filtration of blood. Now these capillaries they rest on the glomerular uh, basement membrane and this uh, glomerular basement membrane it is actually fused uh, with the endothelial layer and it is negatively charged and it prevents the passage of negatively charged large substances uh, like blood cells, albumin and therefore these uh, large molecular weight substances are not uh, filtered by the glomerular basement membrane. Now the Bowman's capsule uh, has two layers, the outermost layer is called as a parietal layer whereas the inner layer is called as a visceral layer. Now this visceral layer is made up of uh, specialized cells and these cells are called as the podocytes. Now in between the podocytes are present spaces uh, which are termed as a filtration slits. So the blood uh, in the glomerulus is filtered uh, through the glomerular endothelium uh, then the basement membrane and the visceral layer of the Bowman's capsule. So these three layers they constitute the filtration unit of the nephron and the blood uh, that is not filtered or the blood components that are not filtered uh, they are passed or they are carried away from the glomerulus by the efferent arteriole. So glomerular filtration occurs across three membranes one is uh, through the pores of glomerular capillaries then uh, glomerular basement membrane and uh, visceral layer of the Bowman's capsule composed of uh, podocytes and the uh, filtration slits and uh, the blood once it is filtered the filtrate is passed into the tubule of the nephron. Now a uh, renal artery branches to produce afferent arterioles and uh, uh, the afferent arteriole carries blood to the glomerulus. Now blood is filtered and the filtrate passes into the tubule of the nephron. Now blood and the components that are not filtered they are carried away from the glomerulus by the efferent arteriole. Now glomerular filtration occurs uh, due to the pressure gradient in the uh, glomerulus. Now there are two types of pressure one is the outward pressure that uh, supports the process of filtration and other is the inward pressure that prevents the filtration. Now let's uh, discuss each of these pressures one by one. Now main driving force uh, responsible for the process of uh, glomerular filtration is the outward pressure. Is the pressure that pushes the blood uh, from the glomerulus into the Bowman's capsule. Now this outward pressure is called as the glomerular hydrostatic pressure and this glomerular hydrostatic pressure it uh, depends upon the blood pressure it depends upon the blood pressure as the blood uh, enters the glomerulus now apart from this uh, this uh, glomerular hydrostatic pressure also depends upon the width of the uh, afferent arteriole now as it is clear from the diagram the diameter or the uh, width of afferent arteriole is more uh, than that of the efferent arteriole and thus pressurized blood that is ejected from the heart enters the glomerulus through a relatively wide afferent arteriole and it exits from the glomerulus through a narrower arteriole and this 
uh, pressure this produces a pressure in the glomerulus responsible for the filtration and this pressure uh, which is shown here in the red color is the glomerular hydrostatic pressure that supports filtration and this is 55 millimeter of mercury now apart from this there are two other pressures that uh, prevent the process of glomerular filtration and these pressures are termed as the inward pressure now these pressures uh, or the inward pressures uh, what they do is this that they pull uh, he here shown in the uh, blue color is the capsular hydrostatic pressure and in the green color is a colloidal osmotic pressure so these two pressures are the inward pressures and these pressures they pull in the plasma and its components towards the glomerular endothelial capillaries and they prevent the process of filtration now the net uh, filtration pressure depends upon the difference between the outward pressure and the inward pressure. Now uh, let's uh, uh, see to the colloidal osmotic pressure. Now colloidal osmotic pressure is the pressure exerted by the colloids. For example, albumin in the glomerular blood. Now albumin prevents plasma components to leave the glomerular capillaries. Thus colloidal osmotic pressure prevents or oppose the process of filtration and this colloidal osmotic pressure is 30 uh, millimeter of mercury. Now another uh, inward pressure is the capsular hydrostatic pressure. This also uh, oppose the process of glomerular filtration. Now as the filtrate drains into the capsular space, now this is a capsular space as the filtrate drains into the capsular space a backward pressure a backward pressure uh, towards the glomerulus is exerted by the wall of capsule and also by the fluid in the renal tubule and this pressure is called as a capsular hydrostatic pressure and this is the inward pressure and this pressure also prevents the filtration and this capsular hydrostatic pressure is 15 millimeter of mercury so uh, glomerular uh, hydrostatic pressure uh, drives the process of filtration whereas uh, colloidal osmotic pressure and uh, capsular hydrostatic pressure uh, these two pressures they prevent the process of filtration and the net filtration pressure that drives the process of filtration is the difference between the outward pressure that supports filtration and inward pressure that prevents filtration and this net filtration pressure comes out to be 10 millimeter of mercury and thus in a healthy kidney net filtration pressure of 10 millimeter of mercury is enough for the process of glomerular filtration. Uh, now let's understand the concept of uh, glomerular filtration rate and how to derive it. Now the amount of filtrate formed in all the renal carpuscles of both the kidneys per minute is termed as glomerular filtration rate. That is the rate at which kidneys produce filtrate determines the glomerular filtration rate and normally kidney produces 180 liters of filtrate per day. Now rate of filtration or glomerular filtration rate is the product of filtration coefficient and net filtration pressure. Now this uh, uh, filtration coefficient it depends upon the surface area and the permeability of filtering surface. Now higher the surface area higher will be the glomerular filtration rate. Higher is the permeability of filtration unit higher is the glomerular filtration rate. Now this uh, 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 glomerular uh, coefficient is equal to uh, its value is 12.5 ml per minute uh, per uh, millimeter of mercury whereas uh, net filtration pressure as we have already determined is 10 millimeter of mercury. So the glomerular filtration pressure comes to uh, 125 ml per minute that is 125 ml of filtrate is produced by both the kidneys per minute uh, that is glomerular filtration rate is 180 liters of the filtrate is produced uh, in 24 hours by both the kidneys. Now glomerular filtration rate determines kidney function. Now 
glomerular filtration rate below 60 ml per minute shows that the uh, kidney is diseased there is a kidney disease and glomerular filtration rate of uh, 50 ml 15 ml of filtrate per minute or lower than that shows that uh, there is a kidney failure so glomerular filtration rate is a very important parameter is the most important parameter to determine the functioning of kidney and glomerular filtration rate of 125 ml per minute is uh, the filtration rate uh, that is seen in a healthy kidney so this is in brief on the structure of uh, uh, renal carpacil uh, then uh, uh, this is a video where we have discussed the process of uh, glomerular filtration and we have derived an expression for uh, glomerular filtration rate we have determined the value of uh, glomerular filtration rate so if you find the video useful kindly like subscribe and share this video uh, thanks for watching this video